Hey guys, RC Dude TV here. Today I'm going to be talking about tracks, specifically on the TRX4M. So these are some 3D printed tracks that I found on Etsy. They were 90, but with shipping, I think they were ended up being uh, was it 120 here in southeast uh, Minnesota. So not terrible, but that is 20 bucks less than the price of the truck, pretty much. But if you're gonna run these tracks, you don't have to change anything. They just fit right on. In fact, I'll show you how easy it is. You literally, all you gotta do, it comes with this longer tool so you can reach down in, in there to uh, get to your nut. And you cannot run any other hexes, I think. They uh, said you're supposed to run the stock ones, so that's what I'm gonna do. Eventually, I would imagine this will wear out. It's just 3D printed. I don't know how well you can see that, but it seems like every time I use them, they get a little more war. But it comes with two, so it should be fine. But actually, this is a rear you can see by the shape compared to the front. So I'm going to throw this track on here quick. And actually, shucks. I might have to go. Dang it. That. They don't fit with those uh, hubs. I'm gonna go put the stock ones back on. I'll be right back. All right, I got one done here. So you can obviously see the difference. That one's a lot more smooth and this is obviously got a lot more chunk to it to add that weight. So I'm gonna quick do the other side and then uh, should be able to throw the other track on too. But while I got you here, I'm gonna throw this one on just to show you. How easy it is. It is literally the same thing as bolting a tire. There is nothing else you gotta do to the truck. You don't have to modify anything. It fits. It'd be uh, interesting to put two of these tracks on the rear and then throw maybe some skis on the front and take out the front drive shaft or something. It's an idea for another day, I guess. There. As you can see, it bolts up just like a tire would. Obviously, those are tiny for drifting. But. All right, I'm going to throw all the tracks on, and then I'll talk a little more, and then we'll probably do some running outside in the snow and see how she does. So I want to talk about a couple things with these tracks now. They are 3D printed, and the track, the track flexible material itself is made out of TPU. So being as it's not rubber, it doesn't have traction on hard surfaces. Like, you can't throw these tracks on you can't go and uh go rock crawling with them they won't they'll just spin you know and they take so much more effort to turn you might as well put some big uh tires on it so for crawling they're not as good i have not had a chance to try them out in like mud and whatnot it is 100 percent snow right now ground's frozen so there's not going to be any mud around for a little while but as far as I can say I've only had one real problem with them in the snow, and that is the snow would build up around these um, wheels here, the drive wheel, and then the track would kind of sit like that on the side. And it, it still works like that, but it uh, takes a lot more effort for it to turn. You can tell it's the motor's kind of struggling at that point, and I would rather not have to replace it. But speaking of replacing the motor, I'm running it with the high-speed gears right now because I don't really want to change those. But uh, I have the, um, let me show you, I got the heat sink on the motor there. And uh, aftermarket servo, I burnt the stock one out running the tracks. But it seems like the uh, upgraded servo, actually it's not aftermarket, it's from Traxxas. But uh, that's the metal gear. It seems like it can handle the tracks pretty good. So, yeah. I'll, uh, here's a picture of that issue I was talking about with the tracks. All right, so as you can see, it kind of builds up there, but um, I'm going to go do some running with it, and we'll have to see see what you think for yourself. I mean, I, I like them. Snow is good, but uh, yeah. All right, so I'm just out in my front yard here. It is freezing. It's like 10 degrees. I would... Uh, I'm just going to stick around here for a bit. 
But just to show you how soft this snow is, how good these tracks are, I mean, it doesn't take nothing. So with tires, they would just dig in and I guarantee you it wouldn't go anywhere. That's crazy. Yeah, with the tracks, it just it just goes right up everything. It's pretty neat to uh, watch, watch them work. With the high speed gearing, you lose some of that torque, but uh, I mean got some pretty decent speed. This battery is not charged, so I might have to go throw in another one. But I'm gonna try to make it work. See? Yeah, it's getting dead. It's cold out here. These batteries don't last for long. All right, I'm gonna end it off there. Thank you to everybody who stayed to the end of the video. Like and subscribe to see more. Thank you.